Hey guys, I'm David Mitchell, founder and CEO of Tradeway. What if God himself gave you a blueprint for how to handle your money? Well, the Bible is a practical book. Let's dive in and see what it has to say about wealth, about risk, about leverage, and about investing, and uncover how trading in the stock market can be a powerful tool for moving towards your biggest goals. We're so happy you're here. This is The Word on Investing. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a really important topic, how to benefit from the market even when you're too busy. Now think about that. Most of us have a career. Some of you actually like your career and you want to keep doing it. Some of you may want to fire the boss. That can be talked about in a different show. But um, let's just talk about right now you have a career going on. Maybe you're raising kids and you got a lot going on in your life. How do you have time to do what it takes to trade in the stock market and to really have all the homework done and everything you need to do to dot all the I's and cross all the T's and get it done right? So you think you don't have time. And then there's this other thing. Wall Street doesn't want you to trade anyway. Why? Because they can make money with no risk by trading with your money. Think about it. That's their game. The, you lose money in your account, they still made their commissions. You see my point? So these shows are really important because we're going to show you how to cut out that middleman and how to do some of these things yourselves. But how in the world do we deal with this thing that we're so busy and we don't have a lot of extra time? Well, that's what I want to talk about for maybe more than one show here. And I think it'll be really helpful when you realize that it is possible to do. Not only is it possible, it is, in my opinion, safer than letting someone you don't know have all of your money and send it up to Wall Street and let someone else trade with it, and you're not even sure what they're doing with it. That, that to me, is really frightening. And um, that's what, you know, we at Tradeway would love to alleviate that problem for you guys. So now remember from earlier episodes, we've talked about the fact that you need three legs on the trading table. You need to have fundamental analysis, you need to have technical analysis, and you need to understand the market tone. Remember, fundamental analysis is knowing how great the company is. Does it have great leaders, great managers, great products, great earnings per share quarter to quarter, things like that. Technical analysis is where you can look at the price action of the stock and see little patterns that these stocks make because they all make patterns because human beings are behind it and they cause it. And then market tone is how does the news whether it be world news or economic news, how does that affect the particular stock trade you're in now? So fundamentals, technicals, and market tone, those are really important. You've got to have all that. But um, we don't have time to talk about the whole thing in one show, so let's just pick one of them. I'm going to pick the last one, market tone, because to me it's the most important. If you don't understand that your particular stock trade needs to move with the whole market rather than against it, then you're in trouble. So you need to know what is the whole market doing and why is it doing it? What is it feeling? Because remember, the stock market is emotional, whereas the bond market is intellectual. And we're talking about stock trading. So what is firing up the emotions of the market right now? Well, normally it's news, and that's market tone. So now market tone has two components, if you remember. One is the chart. Learn how to chart the S&P index. And that shows you sort of the patterns that the big market is making but the other component of market tone is the news. And that's what we're going to kind of talk about today. How in the world, if you're busy with a career, you're raising kids or whatever, how do you have time to scan all of the world news and go through that and make any sense out of it? And I'll tell you this, just like in the world of politics, there is fake news in the world of stock trading too. So how do you determine what's real? How do you determine what's important? versus what's fake news, or trying to manipulate you to do something that someone else wants you to do so that you'll be on the wrong side of a trade. How do you get through all that when you're really busy? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. How can we know which news is important? Well, I think sometimes, you know, Harvard, if you go to the MBA program at Harvard, they're going to teach you through a concept they invented called case studies. And maybe that's the best way to study this together. So let's do some case studies. Let's just look at, in fact, I just did this today, and, and this will be relevant for whenever you're listening to this out in the future. It's just that the the um, you know the news is going to change, obviously, but this the idea behind what's real and what's not that's not going to change. So this is going to be really helpful no matter when you listen to this. Now, right now we're sort of in the middle of the coronavirus bear market crash, so that'll give you some context into why we might be looking for certain types of information 
and why other types of information may not be important. But generally, these principles will work at any time. So just remember this. Here's point number one. Usually, there are only one or two key words or phrases that will describe the type of news that even matters. So you can sort of think of all the rest of the articles as noise and get rid of them. Look for the articles that have to do with one of those two key words or phrases. And as we go through these examples today, maybe you can help me figure out what you think the two key words or phrases are that are important right now. Now, those can change over time. They'll usually remain important for several weeks or months, and then all of a sudden one of them may drop off and you pick up a second one or a new word or phrase that's important. And um, so I'll give you a couple of examples. There are a lot of times when what the Fed is going to do, the U.S. Central Bank, what are they going to do? Are they going to lower interest rates? Well, see, the stock market loves it when they lower interest rates because it frees up more money. It's like printing money almost. And it frees up more money for people to buy more stocks, which tends to make the stock market go up. So a lot of times that is really important to watch. Another one could be, um, well, obviously, what do you think the big one is right now? The coronavirus. Almost any news about that, whether it be a possible new vaccine or any kind of treatment that might work at all, anything like that. Or are we firing up the economies, wanting people to get out again? And is that really going to work? So those really have been the two most important ones, the Fed and the coronavirus, two. So you look for those articles. Now, we're recording this in May of 2020, and hopefully by the time you hear this, we're already through this. And, and uh, you know, but you don't know. But the point is, there are always going to be two or three key words and phrases that are in the important news. And once you know what those are, you just kind of tone out the noise and look for those articles. So now let's go through some articles out there today, and let's see if you can help me decide which ones are noise and junk and fake and which ones are important. And I'll try to make some comments along the way that'll help you have some key points to know about to help you figure that out as you go. I'm just going to read some headlines that I saw this morning. This one was out on Bloomberg, and I might want to mention this, though, before I go any further. Our company at Tradeway, we, you know, we don't pay... 3000 bucks a month to go out and pay for information on the stock market. We could do that. Uh, we're an investment advisory company. We certainly could do it. But you know what we like to do? We like to go get the news the same way that you could, where you don't want to pay 3000 bucks a month to get news. So guess what we do? We generally go out to Yahoo Finance, or you can Google things, and you can find all the articles. It'll lead you to articles from Bloomberg and and uh, Yahoo News is a good one. It'll go out there to Market Watch and all kinds of places where the news is great. It's just a good starting point. So Yahoo Finance is a great place to start. But this one came out of Bloomberg, and um, I found it through going to Yahoo Finance first. It says, global debt funds shun Italy on fears that euro area is cracking. Well, now think about this for a moment. When you're in a bear market like we are now, or even if you were in a bull market, information on what's happening in Europe or even in some of the emerging markets, like maybe more like Brazil, um, those things are important because all of the economics of the world are intertwined now. So something that's happening uh, in banking in Brazil um you know, that can affect banks in Europe and in the United States, which can affect the entire financial system. So I'll usually take a look at one of these articles like this. Global debt funds shun Italy. Well, Italy's having trouble in the European Union right now because Italy and Spain tend to be the countries that need to be bailed out by stronger financial countries like Germany. And believe it or not, you know, the ones that are stronger, Switzerland, Germany, sometimes they get a little bitter about the fact they're always having to send money to Italy and Spain to bail them out, but yet they all love to go there on vacation. So they kind of go ahead and bite the bullet and do it. But it is important to know that uh, Italy is having difficulty right now with their bond, trying to sell bonds to raise money to pay for this coronavirus problem that they've got. And you know, it hit that country harder than a lot of countries. So yeah, that's important news because if that filters down and creates a problem for the European Union, they buy a lot of U.S. products that can affect the U.S. stock market. So that would be one that I would read. Now, let me say this. I mean, just 
we just look at one article there and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I don't have time to go out and look at that thing and read it. Well, that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about today because one of the great things that Tradeway offers is a thing called Insider Plus. And what's really neat about that is there are no prerequisites. You don't have to know anything about the stock market to benefit from this program. And so one of the great things about it is that it has a component that talks about market tone, and it's called the market alerts. And when you take advantage of the Insider Plus, you get access to daily market alerts from me and my staff, and they come out sometimes more than once a day. And guess what? We go through and we read all of these articles for you, and then we come in there and summarize which ones are important and just a few key words and phrases or a paragraph or two from the important ones so that you know how that may affect the market. And then we'll give you our opinion on what we think that will do to the market. So think how much time that saves you and what that might really be worth for you not to have to do that every day. And it makes it possible for you to actually trade stocks when you think you're too busy because we're going to do that part for you and with you. And another benefit is while you read these, you start learning better and better which articles are real, which ones are important, which ones are not. So check out Insider Plus at Tradeway.com. I think you'll find it very important, especially in trying to learn how to trade when you have a busy lifestyle. So there, there was one that, you know, it's kind of the first one I clicked on. It was important. So see what I would do personally someday when you're doing, if you choose to do this full time, I'll share with you what I do. I go through and I clip these portions out of these important articles and I'll clip them into a Word document and I'll, you know, give the title, the author of the article, the date it was on and which service it came from, like Bloomberg or whatever, and then the URL. And so I'm properly footnoting it. So I'll give everybody credit, you know, and then I'll go clip the next one in the next one and I'll put today's date on there and I'll have all of today's articles on that Word document. And I usually save that with Friday of the week I'm in, that date, and that'll be in my file name, like articles for the week of 05, 15, 20, or whatever Friday is. And then I've got all those articles so that by the end of the week, I sort of know what's going on in the world and how that's going to affect the market and how that might affect the particular stock that I'm trading in. But for now, you don't need to be doing that because I do it every day for myself, for my own personal investments and my families, but also everyone, thousands, we got 30,000 people plus uh, out there in the world that listen to us and pay attention and that we can help. So I'm doing it anyway. So let me do it for you at first. And later, if you go full time, maybe you can think about doing it on your own. We'll certainly teach you how. All right. But like I said a minute ago, if you get involved with Insider Plus, you don't have to have any prior knowledge, and we're going to start right out showing you how to do market tone, fundamentals, technicals, all those cool things, and do it with you through this program. So it's a great way to start when you're really, really busy. All right, now let's go to another one. Analysts warn a deluge of new U.S. government debt could spark a bond market tantrum. Is that important? Well, one of the things you'll learn through Insider Plus, and especially through the market alerts, is how to start to know what news is important and how certain things relate. Like, how does the bond market relate to the stock market? Well, to me, bonds are kind of boring, but they're really, really important. And the bond market is the intellectual side of things. People that deal and trade in the bond market, they are the smart financial wizards of the world. And on the other side, the stock market is emotional. So we need to know more about human psychology when we're going to trade the stock market. But the bond market affects the stock market. Just in a nutshell, when you see that bond yields, that's the same as the interest rate, basically, are going up, the stock market doesn't like that, okay? If you see bond yields moving down, where the interest rates are lower and lower, the stock market loves that. Why is that? Because bonds are a way to, quote, print money. It's, it's how the government prints money. So the more money that's out there, the more money people have to buy stocks with, the more stocks they tend to buy, and it makes the stock market like to go up. Now, that's very general, but it's something we look at. There's, there are exceptions from time to time when uh, rates can be going up and the market's still going up too. But still, these are things we'd be talking about. So anytime I see an article on what the bonds are doing, I'll read it right quick. But one cool thing is when, you, when you're involved with Insider Plus, 
not only would we put a little synopsis of that article, we'll tell you whether it's important right now or not and whether it is working. In other words, is it true today that with yields going up, the market's going to kind of get killed? And so maybe you don't want to be in an up play, you'd rather be in puts, which which puts are an option that can actually make money when the market goes down. So you'll learn about that with Tradeway too. So it'll help you not only get through these news articles quickly, but also know what actually applies today. All right, let's look at another one. Investors say increase in longer dated auctions could present nasty shock to the bond market bull. Yeah, that's important because it's talking about the bond market again. And here's the deal right now with this coronavirus and there are other things in history that cause this to happen. The government is printing money. They're trying to prop up the whole economy. So they're printing money. They're sending out gifts of money to people and to companies and these sort of things, we've just never seen anything done quite like this. Not even in the Great Recession in 2008 did we see this on this scale. So the government is printing money like crazy. Now, how do they, how do they raise money? If they're going to send a $1,200 check to every single American and then do it again three months later, how do they raise that money? Well, through bond offerings. So they sell U.S. government bonds. Well, when they do that, like they're going to, they're going to go out there and and sell millions and millions, 20s of millions, 200s of millions of dollars worth of U.S. bonds. Now we're flooding the mar bond market with bonds. And so the supply is really, really large. And what that does is it tends to drive the price of the bonds down. And there's an inverse relationship between that and the yield. So the yield goes up. Now, what happens when the interest rates are going up? It can hurt the stock market. So there's some concern that while the government tries to fix one thing, they hurt another. Now think about that. They're trying to get money to people so they can buy products so that companies can sell products and their stock will go up, right? And yet while they're doing it, they're making the yields indirectly. You know, they didn't mean to cause this to happen, but it just does. The laws of supply and demand make it happen. The yields go up on the bonds, which means that now the stock market doesn't like that because as the yields go up, People will take a look and say, you know what? I could make 3% with a really safe government bond. Why would I want to go buy a risky stock? You see how that works? Now, you wouldn't just intuitively know that. But if you're part of the Insider Plus and you get these market alerts, over time, you just read them. And for one thing, we're telling you what our opinion is on how it's going to affect the market. But even better than that, you learn to tell on your own how to know that stuff. So that's kind of better than just giving a hungry person to fish, right? You teach them how to fish. That's what we're doing. So we're going to give you the fish plus teach you how to fish. Doesn't get better than that, does it? All right. So, I mean, I would keep that article. So now what are we starting to say is one of the one or two or three keywords and phrases? Bond market, right? So we're looking for articles that have to do with how all this government printing of the money is affecting the bond market because it'll have an indirect influence on the stock market. Okay. Here's another one. GE stock hasn't rallied with the market. Wall Street still thinks it's a buy. Eh, nope, I wouldn't read that one. Anytime, here's, here's a rule of thumb to remember. You don't want to let anyone else ever pick your stocks for you. One of the things we do at Tradeway is we're going to help you learn how to pick your own stocks. Now, on another show, another episode coming up in the future, when we get to the idea of fundamentals, you know, one of the three legs on the table, fundamentals, technicals, market tone. We're talking about market tone today. But when we do talk about fundamentals, there's a huge benefit to Insider Plus on that. And it's called the stock basket to give you a little taste of where we're headed. But it's going to be full of great stocks so that you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours doing research on which stocks. But then again, you don't have to let someone else tell you which stock because you're going to have a basket with 100 stocks and they're all great growth stocks. So think about that. It sounds like I contradicted myself. Don't let anyone else pick your stocks, but we have this great stock basket. Well, here's the difference. You basically have two kinds of stocks, value stocks and growth stocks. You want growth stocks. What does that mean? Well, think about if you'd been able to buy a Walmart 30 years ago. Well, it hadn't moved out into the whole world yet. It wasn't huge. It was growing. It was a little growth stock. Or think about Coca-Cola 40 years ago. It wasn't in China yet. It wasn't in India. It wasn't even in Europe. Well, certainly, certainly wasn't in South America. So that would have been the time you want to buy Coca-Cola while it's still a growth stock. Do you get the idea? 
So we will have a list of about 100 growth stocks, the best growth stocks in the world available to you. Then you pick your own stock from that basket. So you're picking your stocks. We're just narrowing it down and, and making sure there are no stocks in there that would be bad, where they have bad fundamentals. So that you're going to pick from a universe of stocks that have great fundamentals, and that work's been done for you by Tradeway staff. Isn't that cool? That is part of Insider Plus, believe it or not. We'll talk about that in a whole nother episode. So now here you have an article where someone else is trying to pick the stock for you. GE stock hasn't rallied, but Wall Street thinks it's a buy. So that means that stock is going down and they're wanting you to buy it. Why? Well, if you start to really look behind some of these types of articles, it's because they have a vested interest. They own GE stock. They want you to buy it so it drives the price up and they make more money. That is not a good reason for you to buy GE stock, see? So you never let someone else pick your stocks. So that that's going to rule out a whole lot of articles that are just junk articles that you're going to throw out as soon as you see them. Anytime you see a uh, name, a ticker symbol, and say you might need to pick up some of this, or here's the greatest next new Walmart in the world is going to be this one, or the best, you know, here, this one's better than Amazon. Go buy this one right now. All right. So you see those kind, just go right past them because that's someone trying to tell you what stock to buy that never works. You know, I learned to trade starting out as a little bitty child. I'm talking about seven, eight years old, sitting on my grandfather's lap. And um, my great-grandfather got us in the oil business. My grandfather had to figure out what to do with oil money laying around. That's a good problem. So he became a really good stock and bond trader. And I would sit on his lap and listen to him talk to his broker. Because back then you couldn't trade uh, with your laptop like you can now. You had to call a broker. And I could hear him telling the man, the man would come in there and try to name some stocks he wanted my grandfather to purchase. And why would he do it? Because that particular broker had a vested interest in those companies. My grandfather knew it. Now, he was an oil man, so he'd start cussing. And he would cuss left and right and tell him, no, give me the blankety blank ticker symbols that you want me to have. I've got my list here. Here, buy me 200 shares of this, 1,000 shares of that, and 300 shares of that. He already picked his own stocks. So I learned from a boy, a young boy, that you don't let someone else pick your stocks for you. So with the Insider Plus, you're going to have a universe of the right kind of stocks where the fundamentals have been checked. You may have anywhere from 90 to 150 of those at any given time. You're going to go through and pick the stocks that you think are important to you from that universe. Stocks that maybe you know something about what the company does. And it just makes sense to you that you like the idea of trading in that market. And you'll know the fundamentals are great and that it's a growth stock. So isn't that a great service? And I think how much time that saves you than if you had to go out and try to figure out out of thousands of stocks available on the stock market, which one or two or three you'd want to trade. This is a huge service. So go out to tradeway.com, check out the Insider Plus and take advantage of it. All right, let's see what you think about this article. All right, it says add... So someone paid to put this out there, but it's right there in the middle of all these business articles. Looks like a real business article in very gray letters that you can barely see. It says, add Raging Bull. So this is somebody out there called Raging Bull. And then it, from there on, it looks like a real article. It says, former security guard turns $15,000 into $7 million. Do you think you should click that one? <laughs> well, I tell you what, if the SEC sees that one before you do, they might shut these dudes down, right? But the point is, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. It's a good rule of thumb. So uh, I don't think I would click on that one. And then there's a couple of other articles here along with It's probably the same company or person doing this. From hourly wages to massive fortune, right? Read more about Kyle's success. Listen, I'll tell you what, one of the great things that you get from Tradeway is you start to learn what kind of dangers there are out there where people are trying to grab gullible people that they think don't know much about the stock market and sell them a product. It might be an annuity. It might be life insurance. And no, I'm not saying those are all bad, but when you have skill sets, you really don't want an annuity. I'll just give you that little bug there to be thinking about, but um, there, since usually these articles are selling you either that or 
some kind of annuity package where they can make uh, commissions. And they're not the best investment for your family. So I'd steer away from those. Here's another one. U.S. stocks, futures climb as the Sino-U.S. tensions ease. Well, actually, that's important because not that long ago, before the coronavirus hit, one of the two or three key phrases we were looking for was trade war. Can you imagine that? Yeah, because it was hurting our economy in the short term. And I think President Trump's trying to help our economy in the long term and bring more jobs back here, more factories back here, which is a good thing. But it was hurting the stock market because we trade so much with China, right? And it was causing everything to cost more, which means companies make less. And our big companies that uh, sell a lot of products overseas were having trouble. So, yeah, that that was very important back in those days. And it's still something to look at now. And it flared, actually, the market tanked the first day this article came out because I noticed this one's a couple of days old. It's still out there. And I clipped it this morning. A couple of days ago, when I first saw this article, the market literally went down all day because of this particular news. So you can see how trade war or something to do with that is really important. All right, here's another one. Why staying invested works. History shows that some of the market's best days following shortly after bad ones, staying invested can serve investors well. And that one says in small print, ad from Putnam Investments. Now, let me tell you about that. These are the very guys that we want you to be able to cut out because they're going to always tell you no matter what the market's doing. It can, listen, we just had we just had a day where the Dow fell 3,000 points in a day. I've never seen that in my lifetime. And this bear market fell all the way down to 35, almost 36% down from its high. That means some of your neighbors lost 35 to 40% of their total money in the world. While these guys are saying, oh, just stay in there, hold your own, you'll be fine. They always come back and they leave their money in the market all the way to the bottom of these things all the time. That is terrible. So don't listen to, and if you clicked on that and read it, they'll give you five reasons why it's smart to just never sell anything, always hold it. And yet it's all a fable that people on Wall Street like to convince people of so that you just leave your money with them and they can keep making their commissions while you're losing money on the equities. Don't listen to those. History is full of this. If you went back to the year 2000 when you had the dot-com crash, the NASDAQ took 13 years to make it back to the level it was at before that. And they're telling you just hold your own, stay in there, it'll always come back. Well, what if you're 70 when that happens? So think about your growing your retirement fund over the next 13 years and all you're doing is just getting back to even. So you wasted 13 years of growth in your money because you listened to Putnam Investments when they put out this article about why it's smart to stay in it all the way to the bottom. Oh my goodness, that one kills me. So eh, don't like that one. How about this one? Dow soars 2,145 points so far in quarter two. Microsoft in the buy zone. These stocks also are about to break out and be hot stocks. See, you don't want to let someone else pick your stocks for you. So you're just going to skip that one. What about this one? Semiconductor equipment stocks could be in for a rough ride. Well, yeah, here they're trying to tell you which stocks to pick and which one's not. And I'll just tell you this. I don't, there's a couple of industry groups I stay away from, not because you couldn't invest in them, but you'd have to be an expert to do it. And I don't want to spend my time doing it. Semiconductors is one of them. That's something where you would need to specialize. So one of the great things you learn by being part of the Tradeway Insider Plus uh, program is you kind of learn what kind of stocks you can be involved in when you don't want to go out and do tremendous amounts of research like that. So banks would be another one. I don't I don't like to deal with bank stocks. Who knows how they cook their books? And the government makes it legal for banks to cook their books. And so you don't know what they're doing with their bookkeeping and semiconductors. That That is so cyclical. And unless you want to focus on that, you wouldn't do it. Now, we do have Tradeway students who, for example, worked in the semiconductor industry, and they know all about that. So yeah, they'll trade semiconductor stocks. But most of you guys don't have time to do that, so we'll steer you away from it. So the point is, if you don't want to do all the research and be an expert at semiconductors, stay away from it. There are so many other opportunities out there where it's not as difficult. And uh, like Amazon, for example, I mean, that like you don't have to you don't have to understand the entire cyclical nature of semiconductors to figure out if you might like Amazon or some other stock. So 
when you're when you're part of the Insider Plus program, you begin to learn how to know which stocks you can watch and learn enough about more quickly. Another one is biotech. I mean, it sounds sexy, doesn't it? Especially while they're trying to create a vaccine. But you know, there's 500 companies trying to do that. And out of that, only one or two will get it and the others will drop. Their, their stock at share prices will drop. How are you going to pick two out of 500 and get that right? You would have to be an expert. So I would skip that. Biotechs, you know, semiconductors, banks, but there are so many, literally hundreds of other industry groups that you can be involved in. So that's another great thing you get from Tradeway Insider Plus program is you start to learn, well, what kind of things should I be picking? When I'm picking my own stocks, are there certain industry groups that are better at certain times than others? And the answer is yes, and we help you ferret through all that. Isn't that cool? So here's another one. What's next for the markets? What the index charts and data reveal? I would steer away from anything that's going to help you out with charting because one of the biggest things when we get to technical analysis in a future series here, we're going to talk all about that. We're going to teach you how to do your own technical analysis. Listen, Insider Plus is going to give you the potential to be an expert at technical analysis. You're not going to need someone else to do that for you. So most of those charting articles, they I'm actually kind of the old guy in the industry. <laughs> so most of the people writing those, uh, I don't even agree with how they do their technicals. I don't even think they're doing it right. So I think you get, you're going to do better off to let us teach you how to do it and do that on your own. Okay, so I would skip any articles about technical analysis. Here's another one. Wall Street jumps as historic job losses are fewer than feared. So here you had maybe the, the worst uh, unemployment report that's ever come out in my lifetime and the market went up. Now, how in the world do you figure that? See, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that if you weren't with Tradeway and taking part of the Insider Plus system because you, that doesn't make common sense. You would think with a horrible, maybe the, the worst jobs report in, in all of human history, you would think the stock market would tank, but it didn't. Why? Because it's old news. It's already been priced in. And see, you learn tricks like that. Your neighbor just flat doesn't know that sort of thing. That's why he always buys the wrong stock at the wrong time. And then he's going to tell you, you're going to lose all your money if you try to do the stock market because he doesn't have skill sets. You get, start gaining these skill sets with Tradeway and a great place to start is the Insider Plus because you, you need no prerequisites. It'll start you from ground zero and start giving you the tools to be able to do this even when you're really, really busy. All right, I'm going to do one more and then we'll stop for today. Wall Street game plans, which ETFs the Fed might buy in May? Well, you might think that sounds great. And these this new concept or product that Wall Street came out with called the ETFs, exchange traded funds. So many, you're, probably that's all your neighbor trades. Everybody's out trading them and we don't advocate trading them at all because you need three legs on the trading table. And with an ETF, you don't know the fundamentals. You don't have, it's not a company. So you can't know if it has good leadership. You can't know if it has great products. You can't know if it has great quarter to quarter earnings per share. You don't have anything to do with fundamentals. So you don't have, at, at best, you would only have two legs on the three leg table and you got a whole leg missing, which means the math is not in your favor. So you shouldn't trade ETFs in our opinion. Now you can use them for your long-term retirement money accounts, but that's a whole different story for another series. With regard to trading, skip the articles on ETFs. You're not going to want to be trading those anyway. So we're sort of out of time today, but I think that gives you a good idea how you can start to learn to ferret through some of these articles and know which ones are junk news that you don't even just noise and leave them out and go with the one or two key words and phrases that actually are affecting the market today. And even if you don't have time to do that, if you become a part of the Insider Plus program with Tradeway, you're going to have a lot of this stuff done for you and with you. And Really, there's so much more to talk about. I mean, for one thing, there's some things included in this where you get to be involved with group learning, where you have coaches and other students on there live with you. And think how that how great that would be if you could ask questions and, and just start to learn how this works with a group of people that are also learning how it works with a group of people who are experts and been doing it for years. 
from Tradeway. So we would love to have you come on board and we hope you enjoyed this show today. If you did, go out there and rate and review this so that like-minded people can find it. We would appreciate that. And we just hope you'll enjoy this and, and really have an open mind to thinking about the fact that even being really, really busy with help from the Insider Plus program, you can make time to benefit from the stock market. So just check out Insider Plus at tradeway.com. And we'll talk about more ways you can benefit in coming days. We'll see you soon.